Recently, I read an extraordinary book called A Matter of Dignity. Acclaimed by the New York Times, the Washington Post, and other reviewers, the book profiles 13 people whose work focuses on disability concerns and issues. It was written by Andy Potok, a Vermont painter and architect who switched to writing after retinitis pigmentosa claimed his eyesight at age 40. I visited Andy at his home, where I talked with him about his work. A blistering cold but sunny day in Vermont. The kind of postcard beauty that would have inspired Andy Potok, the painter. Since he lost his sight, this picturesque landscape will be inspiration for another medium. The talented artist is now a gifted writer. As someone who's been a professional, visual artist, it must have been a tremendous sense of loss when you realized you were going blind. I mean, I, I, I don't know if I was too dumb or if I, I didn't hear what the doctors had to say because they mostly were saying this in very quiet tones to my parents when I was a kid. And I, you know, and I didn't really know what it means. I'm not sure even if I had really known if I would have given any of that up or if I would have said, as I did in fact say, as long as I can see, I'm doing this. And uh, If you were to start painting again, what would you paint? I guess in some ways my painting would be uh, narrative and expressionistic. I mean, it would be, you know, passionate and heartfelt. And uh, I loved seeing. I loved my whole life was... Was and you have plenty of memory of seeing because you oh, didn't no. lose your sight until you were a young adult? I had to make some very serious decisions. Was I going to continue to paint with uh, impaired vision, as a lot of painters have, uh, or was I going to say, hey, I don't, I don't want to do this anymore unless... I can be what I considered then part of the mainstream, you know, and the mainstream was perfectly seeing. Uh, turned out to be not not the wisest of choices, but it led me into another part of my life which became incredibly important, my, my writing life. A spoken word. His first book, Ordinary Daylight, is the story of his odyssey into blindness and his long, desperate attempt to find a cure. His second book, A Matter of Dignity, has been very successful in a genre that rarely gets that kind of attention. It is an exploration of disability from many different perspectives. I want to ask you what the cover of A Matter of Dignity, what the cover photo is all about. My publishers came up with this photograph. It was this wonderful silhouette of a guy sort of going off into a sunset. And it, it really served that metaphorical purpose uh, in kind of a, a wonderful way, even though when I was out there uh, and feeling that, you know, here I was, no longer landlocked. I could sort of paddle along and go anywhere. And suddenly there was this voice that came at me from another kayak nearby and she said Andy don't go any further because you're gonna go off the waterfall so even <laughs> even there you know when I thought I was so safe I need to test myself I need to feel that I can do uh, what anybody could do what my friends can do when they sort of want to go off on a golfing trip they sort of go down and get they in a cab will. yeah and just do it. It's a motivator. And sometimes I just feel, I don't need this. <laughs> I'm perfectly happy feeling safe at home, at my computer, doing my work, and uh, I don't need to test this stuff. I love where I am right now, and I would give anything to get my eyesight back, but I, seeing that that's not exactly a, uh, an option, I love where, I love my life. I mean, I'm privileged. I have a wonderful family and wonderful life. Andy is now working on a novel based on his romance with his wife, Loie. If you'd like to know more about him and his books, 
please visit our website at www.beyond-limits.org. There you can find more links to our story backgrounds and other useful resources.